concept of servant leadership really is that the people who work for you aren't there to serve you. In fact, it's flipping that pyramid uh, upside down and saying you are there to serve them. We're a different kind of, of, of company because of the commitment that we have to service. Well, really what service means to me um, is really listening to people and then taking the action on what they're telling you. It's where our leaders believe in us and us as leaders believing in our teams and working with them. Service means being kind to people and, you know, I think that really sets a, a great framework for how we interact with each other. Service to me is having an attitude of gratitude at all times. It's really about having a smile, lending a helping hand. Well, the guys I work with are pretty good. If you have a heavy load, they have no hesitation about stepping in and offering to help you. It's not a one-man show. You need a whole army to create amazing customer service, and I think everybody has their part. Well, I try to make a difference every day, and I feel like being focused on service helps me be my best me. Service means to me treating others with respect the way that you yourself would like to be treated. I treat all my friends and my coworkers um, with respect because I would want that in return. Respect and gratitude. Um, those are two words that I just in general live my life by. You can't just hire somebody. They have to have that gift in them, in their heart. I think really it's all about, uh, about diversity of thought. I think that's really where service comes from, is finding out what's unique about our, our, our way of thinking that we can kind of present out to folks. Our day-to-day -day lives are so hectic and so busy and so full, but if you can literally surprise and delight someone with your service, it's remembered. It's a feeling, it's heart and soul, and that's what we were founded on, is heart and soul. I believed it the day I came here, and I'll believe it the day I leave.